let's look at the breakdown of the psychology of our moves the reasons why by now you'll know why pretty simple straightforward stuff so I'm going to develop the knight so I manage this square here and develop the other knight make space for castle in simple bring the bishop out to make space for castle in we are going to castle we feel fairly safe and secure obviously the psychology is to start ramping the pieces down so this tempo this movement with this knight they've moved that twice and they've not developed any other pieces so in real terms we should be able to take advantage of that because they've lost tempo haven't they so a small piece attacking the bishop kind of reinforces that aspect of you know they need to either develop their piece they're behind movement wise in terms of developing their other pieces do they move back do we chase it are they one of those that want to open up the kingside area by sacrificing pieces or not to try and win some sort of positional tempo so they've moved the piece so again we've stopped them for momentarily developing another piece and we could give them something to think about in terms of attacking the center everything is supported knight supported so again giving them something to think about and do they capture do we give them something to think about again knight attacking the knight attacking the bishop do we run out of the threats and then we give them that moment back which is the annoying bit because it's it's a natural phase of the game so at this point then if they're going kingside castling it gives them time to get the bishop out and develop it so we still want to be in that try and find that mindset and the positions on the board that give them that something to think about so while we're kind of trying to improve our position they haven't developed any other pieces they've moved the knight three times now in the game is it three times four times however numerous times in the game surely we can take advantage of a smaller piece attacking this um knight again it does give them a moment where they do actually get a tempo on us and we can't take this pawn because the bishop is protecting so we have to think about that do we develop our own bishop attacking the knight again it can still just send the knight to attack the queen we're not really winning anything we could bring the queen here attacking the pawn giving them again something to think about i suppose but if we did bring it there it would just take us off the ball because his knight would be there so we can't go there could put a check on his king but no we can't because the knight is there so there's no other things that we can put a check on after that point i'm going to develop our bishop we know now that they're going here and there's no other mo mo movements in time that we're going to win as far as we can see so it's probably safe for bringing the queen back to either one of these spaces here rather than thinking of anything else we've tried that yeah so that's the natural thing <clears throat> um covered all of that angle can't take here bishop supporting can't take definitely can't go there can't go there we can go here but i don't think that's any good so we'll give them that movement time back we're still opposite their queen yes yeah. so now they've got that movement time back we want to try and get that time back somehow so giving them something to think about i think jumping the knight in here attacking the bishop they don't have to take they'll probably just go and castle because the queen is supporting the bishop is there anything meatier that we could do could bring the bishop here but they want to go and castle anyway but if they go and castle we can double the pawns so that's a something to think about for going towards the end game so i'm going to bring the bishop out and double the pawns that's the logic behind that let's take doubles the pawns so this pawn is momentarily weak can we give them something to think about we do want to get the rooks facing their queen but is there anything else that we can do in the meantime if we push they will push and it gives them a bit of an advantage in the center and there's no other piece pieces that we can attack we could bait a pawn but then we're move losing movement in time no way of getting to this pawn nope just keep the knight in the center i think we're just bringing a rook in the center opposite their queen 
we're aware of this poem, there will be as well. So it's a bit congested in the centre here, but I don't really want to move any other pieces to the wide sides at the minute. So it's at this point here where you're in that dried up mode of, well, I don't have anything else to hit. I don't have anything else to attack. So this is where we're looking at the key spaces around the, you know, the their pieces. The key space, key spaces, the key squares, what are they? What are going to give us the best type of position in the game? So that's what I'm trying to eye up at this moment in time. That's obviously, yeah, so the queen's gone and supported and it's also moved itself off of the line of fire of these. So our key square, we need to really look at defending this pawn because it's going to get hit. It's always for the B pawn. But before we do any of that, are there any major movements? Again, baiting the pawn, but then we're losing that movement in time. Don't want to lose that movement in time just yet. Any other key squares, queen coming across opposite their queen. I think we're just going to go with this pawn move here. Just supporting itself because that's a weakness that they're going to target. That's a weakness we were going to target. Looks like they've gone and defended it. Whether that's on purpose or not, but it looks like it. So yes, we're in that dried up mode of nothing specifically to attack. We've got to start attacking the key spaces, key areas. Now they're attacking through because they're extra X-raying through to our rook. So we might as well just take that out of the equation. Could probably bring it onto the white square, but I think I'm just going to keep it here. If there's any supports pushing the pawn up, but that's probably not going to happen based on my experience. But we're just moving it off of the line of the attack. So the rook has gone and supported a pawn that doesn't really need supporting. So I'm happy for that. It might be a longer term gain type thing. And so key spaces. Knight does have the ability to do this, but it's not doing the right lot. It's not hitting anything. There's no real key spaces. I think the knight is looking to dance around here. Looking to dance here to attack. But this pawn is going to block that. But I'm going to move the knight anyway. Not forgetting this pawn. Hey, hey, this pawn doesn't have any protection on. So should we do something before we move the knight? Don't really want to push this because the white square bishop's feeling strong. But at the minute we do have the queen. If he does get this pawn pushed here, then the bishop will be supported. So I don't really want to give it any strength at this moment. We could attack the bishop. And that's um, meaty enough for me. It's just this pawn here is, it'll take a one move, which is this bishop moving so the queen can get this pawn for free if the knight is not there. So we're very mindful of the key movements that the opponent can make. It's not saying we're gonna make the right moves. So the queen's looking to actually come in. So we take the queen gets in and it's replicating the attack on the knight but then it's taking its way from attacking this pawn. So the rooks are going to come and attack the pawn. We don't have to take, but um, if we don't, I think the pawn's going to attack. Is there an inter... Because this pawn is no longer defended, but I don't have anything that can attack it. Time-wise, it's not too bad. Queen can come here, but then we lose the knight. So I think we probably just need to take the bishop off the board. It's none of this. Or else we'll be getting a little bit too arty for ourselves, I think. So we can take. Queen takes. Queen can go and attack their queen to see whether or not they want to exchange or not. They probably won't. They're probably going to go for the cheapy, bringing the queen here, looking to attack the pawn here. Yep. Let's go for it. Let's take. And then we'll go for the queen. Like we said, they're going here, looking for this. We can just move the king out of the way.
all the while we're trying to try and get this pawn for some strange reason oh they've actually captured so that kind of messes up that thought process that's fine so the rook's in the center and they've obviously thought about this move as well giving space for the king or something or the other or they're attacking this pawn right let's get our head into the game this pawn is protected it's okay so we can bring the rook here supporting the pawn yep let's bring the rook here and support the pawn let's run through to the bishop which we can't take i'm going to push this pawn because it looks like they're making a little bit of a situation for themselves Rook in the center of the board doesn't have any place being there, so we can bring the rook back. Let's let it join its fellow or bring it here to then double up. I'm going to bring it here to double up. Now it can jump here, bishop can take, pawn takes. I think we'll jump the knight in here just to see what the bishop wants to do. Normally they don't take, but they are taking today. Let's block this situation because they do have doubled pawns here. And he's looking now to get the rook off the board. So I'm actually just going to bring this here. Probably need to think about locking this area down. And then let's float through this, this end game. Right, so we take, takes, takes, kings across. We move across. Yes, proper end game. Let's go. Let's see if the double pawn situation works for us. Let's get the king up king up and we're not going to stay there for long are we so we were going to just lock this and protect here let's just get these symmetrical up can do this but that doesn't really work so let's just hang fire and do this the double pawns can work for you um so if we take do we lose out if we push? Let's just push. And let's just take nice and simple chess. So the king can't get down any of these areas here. So the only thing we're going to attempt to do is try and snap these pawns here a little bit. And see if our king can make its way through. Okay, get a little passer thing or something. And let's move this king, see if we can squeeze. No, we're not going to make it. I think we might have done the wrong move there with the king. We did the wrong move with the king. We should have been pushing this pawn. Now I'm getting zugzwanged because his king can come in here. Yeah, I did that wrong. If I pushed, then he can push the pawn down just for a move. And then I suppose he's blocking his way. If he pushes that... I suppose we can push past but his king can't get here but can go here and come round and take it so he has to go around we take we take i don't think we get to save it but we can push this pawn he can't get down here so we have to stop the king from getting here and then this should get promoted at this point the opponent may just resign Nice one. End game. Yes, attacking the key spaces, key pieces, targeting, you know, looking looking at those areas that we really want to focus on at the beginning of the game and then looking at when you dry out of anything that you can specifically target um keys, you know, the key pieces, and then it's then looking at your position on the board basically to see where you want to go. Um, which is going to be best, which is going to be favourable, giving the think, giving the opponent things to think about. It's a key thing, really, giving them something to think about. We're trying to make it a positive thing for ourselves. You know, sometimes it can be a bit scrappy and, yeah, they think about it, but they're improving their position elsewhere. So, yeah, that's how we practice. And it looks like this person's just going to let the time run out. Yeah, I thought I did that movement wrong, but it turns out that movement was okay king there just seeing if there's anything else they can do we push the pawn he pushes 
maybe they didn't have to push that one maybe they pushed oh i can't move from them can i I'll have to wait for the analysis yeah, so maybe if they push this push that and what would we do we would move the king King can dance around the back then, can't it? It would have been a draw. King moves around the back, push the pawn up, so my king can no longer get there and support the pawn. And the king can just dance backwards and forwards, because where am I going? So I think that would have been the better move. I think that one move probably cost them the game. look at the analysis because it wasn't i don't think it was superb in any way shape but like i said let's get to that point where it is really a drawish type thing yeah it's this position here there 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 draw and then that's where obviously it went wrong so it was that one move all they had to do was push this pawn here yeah, so we went through that previous. There's nothing else for me to do, really. Yeah, just go side to side here. And then just keep going side to side. Where do I go? That's what I was meaning. Good game. Good game.